Yes, sir. Good morning, cousin and Ike. Good mm. morning, Breketa family. We go start with that case where we finish with on Friday. Mm. Where be Mustafa? We talk say in Allah say him and in other blind friends. They give one Mohammed six million. Make he help them do business and say at the end he go give them both the profit and the capital. Mm. But since then they no see him. They no see money. I be one do. I be no one do that case today. Because he get attitude where I see from that our brother. They get attitude where I see from them. And if we no tell ourselves the truth, we no go fit to make progress. But as CB say, you don't call and bring them come. Okay, sir. Mm. Casey, uh, where the other microphone? Bring the other microphone. Mm. Yes, cause of that, I, mm. your mouth they do more, more. Yes, I, I just like what you do, and you just use some kind of style talk to not just him, with everybody too. The mm. the body language when people they do something and because maybe when they come here and everybody empathize with them, mm. show them empathy and then you can't begin they can't they translate them as entitlements mm. they, they go as to, right yes as right and entitlement mm. not be the same thing now just because we we get feelings here when mm. people they go through stuff we supposed to they get one time uh, we one complainant where i carry i go drive the complainant drop him. Mm. <laughs> when i drop i'll give her money for transport that the next one day the same guy i carry him. And then I carry one lady, this another case to one mm. person assigned me to. Mm. Now, when I give um something, he could tell me, say, hey, what of this lady? Mm. Yes. So to him, I could ask, I said, you give me money, right. make I give the, the, the now your money. <laughs> mm -hmm. And things like that, yes. So <laughs> it happen. So the other time he could come to he did say, as maybe we they go, as, or then, uh, they so give better you money, money say distribute to everybody. <laughs> and things like that. So that's why, what do you talk now? Mm. They not that they very good, sir. You know, I don't want to drag that talk, but uh, now we know what we they see here. And uh, me, no be person where beside I go finish, I drive my car, go my way. Even if you they come my way, I no go carry you. But he get reason where be say, if you bring complain, even if you be my brother, I no go carry you. I don't try him when we there for papi. If I tell you the kind trouble where he put me inside, you no go believe him. Everybody where they come here, I no owe you anything. The only person where I own an ordinary president, one, we trust me, give me the opportunity, give me the right, say make I stand on his behalf. That's the number one person I owe. And then the number two person I owe now my conscience and my God. Make it be say, I go first say to my conscience, I treated you the way I would be happy to be treated if I be in your position because nothing will prevent me from being in that position where you be today. I never pass on. As long as I they are alive. Anything where you they go through today, nothing make me special. We go make me no fit go through that tomorrow. So when I they see you, they treat you, I they treat you with oh, as a duty to my conscience. Say, what if Nami find myself in that position? What thing I go want to make this person do to me within the limit of his powers as human being? And then ordinary president will say, I trust you to stand here on my behalf. But when people begin to they come with this sense of entitlement, like say you owe them, sometimes I go like to put them back. I know they do them because I won't punish you. I they do and make you understand them so that you go also know, say the other people, they not be foolish people. But make we leave the matter. Good morning, Gil. Good morning, sir. What can be your name? My name is um, Mustafa Sufian Yaha. Mustafa Sufian. Okay. Yes. So, Mustafa, yes, which sir. time you carry your complaint come break at the family? So, I came on Thursday in the afternoon. Which Thursday? Last week. Thursday. Yes, sir. Now, be the first time you carry your complaint come. Yes. 
Anybody inside this studio, we don't bring complaint come since one month ago. We mm -hmm. complain don't last. We don't they come for up to a month. Give them microphone. Thank you. No, hold your own, Mustafa. Hold your own. Thank you. You say you are own now when? Good morning, Bracketed family. Hmm. My own is one year, one year plus now. One year plus. The other person? My own, good morning, Kostota. I. Mm. My own is a month plus. A month plus. The yeah. next person? Good morning, sir. Mm. My name is Pastor Joe. Mm. We came since uh, 19, uh, 2000, 2006 to Pape. 2006. Yes, sir. Pape. That was my first time to meet you. Your first time. Yes, sir. Thank you. The next person, quickly. Okay, my name is Ashley like Salifu. Mm. I will bring my complaint since 2019. Since 2019. Yes, sir. Okay, make we just leave them there so that make we not waste time. Uh, Mustafa. Yes, sir. Did you, you hear them? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Any of them come before you? All of them, sir. All of them come before you? Yes, sir. Mm. You remember waiting me and you talk when we finish program where you come to me say I must do your case? Yes, sir. I remember, sir. What did I tell you? You told me that um, there are people that already came and some some of them were here, have been here for, for the past one year or something. Mm. Mm. Then I now say, okay. Mm. And I also talk to you, say, nobody say we they happy. Yes. Say then they here since. Exactly. We are not happy about mm. it at all. Now the limit, within the limit of resources available to us, exactly. now him we they take manage, manage to they do yeah. the little way we they do. Exactly. So I won't make an appeal to you again, no mm. verse. Yes, sir. Say, I know fit treat your matter quick, quick, as you expect. I beg you, no verse with me. No problem. Sir. So now where it be say I don't agree, say I go three times. What thing be the matter? <clears throat> Thank you, sir. And mm. I want to apologize again. Mm. I'm absolutely sorry for what I did. Mm. And this happened as a result of the ignorance that I have mm. uh, about this program. I don't know about it until yesterday that I said my friend should give me your number, let me call you. When he spent three hours explaining how this program is when I told him what happened. Mm. Because in the case, there is a threat of killing okay. inside. Uh, that is yeah. why I cannot go back home and I'm coming from another state. Okay. And ever since they had my voice or read on television on Friday, mm. they have been threatening me uh, yeah. that I brought the case here. That was why I said to oh, you, you should give me at least even five minutes. Let me explain to you that day. Mm. Not because I wanted that program that very day. And I didn't have where to sleep in Abuja and I'm coming from another state. Uh, yeah, so that was what happened. Sorry, so I'm absolutely that. sorry, sir. For no, no, me happened. too. I dare sorry. Yeah, uh, I dare no sorry. Problem. I know, say for you to come, it means say you dare no. pressed. Yeah, but I, I just sir. wanted to get to your understanding exactly that the I, same I, way you dare pressed, and I saw yeah. others day. And we mm. sometimes also go dare pressed with the people exactly. because we don't give different, different appointments and other things. Mm. Huh? No yes, problem exactly. about it. So make yeah. we go on to the case, okay, sir. I'm sorry about uh, that. No problem, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, um, I was born. 1999 1st of january mm. yes so i was born uh, with my full sight uh, yeah so i eventually got the problem and the problem started 2005 where your eyesight problem started y yes that was when i was in primary three. Oh dear yes so, how waiting kosam your hand to let me show you sorry uh, I, I will try to summarize everything sir uh, please uh, is it important say you summarize yeah, them yes sir, it's very important every part of the story will be summarized sir, since i know that uh, there are many cases mm. but a anything that i want to show is linked and connected to the part of the story so I, that's why sorry okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um this is what happened to me okay but I only yes. So, now keep uh -huh. talking as yes, I see him. Okay, sorry, sir. I mm. only want the people in the studio to see the picture as it is, as you can see. I don't want people to outside to feel somehow. Mm. Uh -huh. I just want you to understand. This it be started. like saying a measles. No, it's we? not measles because when it started, when mm. they took me to the hospitals, they said I was the only one that had that kind of sickness in Nigeria. Mm. So they said yeah. they don't. They said they have never seen someone with this kind of sickness. So they should even take me back home because I was going to die. How, so, how the sickness be? You feel described them at least people where they uh, yes, yes, that's that's understand. why I'm heading to mm -hmm. the Quickly. sickness. How it how it happened is that whenever all of my body, when they put me, when they laid me down, when you come, when you see me, you will not understand that this is a human being. 
So when you touch my the part of my any part of my body, you remove your hand from my body, you see my flesh on your body. Uh -uh. Yes, and all of my hairs, my teeth, everything, my nails, everything removed. If I cough, you see flesh coming out from my ear, from my everything. So anything you can see on my body now is not the, the one that I was born with. It's a new one. Hmm. That is why I'm facing a social stigma that you see my mouth is black. Everybody's saying that I'm taking secret. Uh -uh. But yes. your mouth for waiting at the sea, you yes. know, black past the normal person mouth now. Some people sometimes they maltreat me even in school and so many places because they said I take. And even if I remove my shirt now, you see the scars of the sicknesses. Mm, yeah. Sorry. So that was what happened. And when it happened, any part, any part of my body that touches another part, it will gum until they put knife or something and cut it. Mm. So that 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 is what happened. That upper part of my body, upper upper part of my, of my eye, gum with the lower part and gum. In the process of separating it, then they operated the eyes eighteen times. Oh dear, so yes. sorry. That was so what sorry. So sorry. Yes, Talk sir. to the microphone. Yeah, so you say you don't yes. go through many pains. Yes, sir. Sorry about that. So I spent four years in this mm. picture that you saw. Mm. So But the, God Yes sir is wonderful. Yes sir. Because for you to go through all of this where you talk through, yes, you, you talk about now, yes, and you still there alive today, yes, sir. not even under that condition. Yes, sir. Now your condition don't change. Yes, sir. Isn't God wonderful? Ah, very wonderful, sir. Because I know many people we don't go through even small lab challenges, they know survival. Mm. Hmm? Yes, exactly, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So from there, then they said they, can, they could not treat me. So when they took me back home that I was going to die, then my father's elder brother came and said, uh, this is not for hospital. They should take me to one village. Then they took me to one village in life. Yeah. Then close, put the microphone close to you. One, one old man was bathing me with uh, one medicinal water like that. I spent eight months in his house. Mm. Yes. That was when I became, I was cured to this level mm. of this picture that you saw. Mm. Otherwise, mm. before it was not like that. You could not understand it's a human being. You will think that is a flesh just there. So mm. after they cured the body, I'd, after my up, upper part of my eye gone with the lower part, then they now took me to the hospital, started operating me, different hospitals, as I mentioned last week. Mm. So up to the last hospital in Kaduna Eye Center. Mm. So that was in 2006. So after the last hospital in Kano that they sent me to Kaduna, they sent me to one doctor called Dr. Ehenacho, mm. that she was the best eye doctor in Nigeria. But unfortunately, she wasn't in Nigeria when we went there. And they said she was the only one that could touch my eye then. Mm. So, we didn't meet her, but we met her assistant. Then he was not assigned to touch my eye, but he touched and caused one problem. He operated my eye there and caused one problem called amblyopia, hmm. according to them. Mm. So, um, my f <clears throat> in the uh, rehabilitation office there in uh, eye center, then they now say instead of me to just keep, uh, be suffering, they should take me to blind school while they keep uh, treating the eye so that. Eventually, I, they don't want me to lose the eye and lose my education. Mm. Then my father now took me to blind school, Kaduna State Special Education School, Cassius Kaduna. Mm. So that was where, where I started from 2008, primary one, to 2013, primary six. Mm. So from there, I graduated. So while I was in that primary school, whenever I go back holiday, I do a lot of businesses, mm. like selling sugarcane, provision at home, uh, repairing shoes, for people because people surprised that i'm blind but i can still repair shoes and stuff so i get customers a lot for that then i started for which of them the repair of shoes the repair of shoes and the provision and the selling of sugar cane yes at that time so i started making one small uh, account for my school whenever i gather money i'm going to school then i make my own provision so as i started my secondary school 2014 gs1 gss quality mm. then that was when I started suffering a lot over, over and over than my primary school. Then I now stood up and went to one school here in Abuja called Nurul Bayan International Academy. Mm. So I now told the director of the school, she's from Kuwait, that I want to become a lawyer and a son. But I lack a lot of uh, support. Mm. So I want her, I don't need money, but I just need support to do education. Mm -hmm. Then she now said I should bring my parents, and I brought my parents. We sat down. She saw all of this picture and everything. Then she cried and said, oh, she wants to assist me. Then she now told my father that the school fees of the school, that was in my class then, 
uh, JS2 is 500,000 Naira each term. Mm. But my father should tell her how much can he pay. He now said he, he doesn't have anything because of my sickness. He cannot pay anything. Then she now said he should try. Then he said 50,000 every time. Then I start, I now... Is she the proprietor of the school? Yes, yeah, she was the one that established the school. Okay. Yes. Then from there, my father, now we went outside and started suggesting. He said he doesn't have that money. He just told her so that we'll come and suggest if there is anything we'll sell or something. Then from there, we now decided that I should go and meet our chairman of our local government in Lafayette, our local government, Nasrao State. Mm. Then I now went and met him. I carried my money from the account that I was gathering, like 50000 People that process process money where you gather from those provisions yes. where you they sell exactly and the shoe. But how you take the repair the shoe as you know they see or another person they repair. Ah uh, no, I'm the one repairing. I I do many things. Even bicycle, uh, everything that I lent, I lent them when I was not seen because I was I lost my sight when I was very small. So you can fix things, even those physical things, without you seeing them. I even create bicycles, cars, and put battery and sell to children. Ha, ha. Yes, Make one appreciate them. <laughs> you see, na person we no allowing condition to put them down. Continue. Yes, sir. So from there, then I now met the chairman of the local government inside the office. The off the office was filled with uh, people, journalists, and everything. They were videoing and everything. Then I now told him that from the beginning of the secondary school to the end, I was going to pay seven hundred and fifty thousand naira when I was when I calculated. Mm. Then he now said, I will, I'm going to pay one million, almost one million naira for you. Then everybody was clapping. Everybody was, I was happy. People that processed for me, some, this person I will give him 5,000, this one 10,000, up to the time that I spent 35,000 naira for, for those people. Then after we went out from the office, then he said they should give me 5,000 to come to Abuja and collect the admission and take it, take it to them. Then when I came to Abuja and collected and took it to them, the chairman refused to allow me to see him. I have been the chairman of where? The, our local government there. Mm. Then I, he refused to allow me to see him. I struggled, struggled, struggled to the end, to the extent that I met his uh, younger sister in our area. That this your brother said he want to give me this thing, and I have already collected that admission. Then she now called him. Then she told him. Then he now sent somebody to bring money to me. When I collected the money, we counted. Then we now saw that it was thirty thousand naira. Then I now said to. Oh, Okay, then I now went back to his sister, then she took me to him. Then he now said, um, they didn't cheat me, those people that brought the money. I should go and look for other chairmen so that they should assist me since we have account for people with disability in every local government. Then I now said, okay. Then from there, people, because they saw that it was in TV and radio, every uh, chairman said he was going to give me 1,000, uh, 1 million. People started disturbing me. This one will come that his, his wife has given birth. This one will come his children want school fees. And I now started telling them that this, he just gave me 30,000 naira. They refused to agree. And I cannot gather all of those people that were there then mm. and tell them that, no, chairman gave me only 30,000 naira. So in the end, my father now sold something and gave me 50,000 naira that I paid for the first time Then I came to this school. That was where I met a lot of friends because all of the children in the school are the children for rich people, governors, senators, uh, ministers, and stuff. So I was the poorest uh, child in the school. So fortunately, I became the best student. That was where I learned English because I could not speak English completely. Mm. So because there are, there, are, there are Arabians and Europeans, they are teaching. Then I said, let me use this opportunity. That was where I bought one small dictionary and memorized it just to learn English. Hmm. So as a result of that, then people now started, uh, children from that school now started harassing me that I became the best student and uh, time for prayer, I will be the one to call prayer. Sometimes if I'm passing, some of them will just carry their legs and hit me like this because they don't like me. So to the extent that I couldn't even finish the school. But before then, the wife of the president, and then the wife of the vice president, and the which president? Nigerian president. I don't want to mention them until I reach the point. Sorry. Okay, but yes. you talk say you go summarize. Yes, sir. So she came, and the wife of the vice president, and the wife of the nineteen governors and ministers and staffs. Then they called me that we had program. They said, and the wife of another president from Europe. So when they came, they now said. Did I understand? They now called me. Did I understand uh, my reading? I say everything. They now say me, to ask me to show them how I do a lot of things. I showed them. They cried. 
and then she said she had a very a, a special gift for me while NT and all of those uh, 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 radio station and TV were videoing us. Then she gave me that special bag, surrounded with security and everything. Then after we left there, then we, I opened that bag in front of my closest friends and other people that uh, were not more than 20. Then we now saw food flags and flags for water, and then a bunch of pencil and biro inside. Then ever since they saw that bag, they started threatening me that Everybody will come that I should buy a car for him for hire. This one will come that I should buy a house for him. I said, it's, it is nothing inside. It's, I told them what is inside. They started arguing that to the extent that some people will call me on the phone and be telling me that if I don't bring that in that is inside that bag. Some people started changing my name from Mustafa to Mustafa Dollar, Mustafa Dinar. They started attaching my name to international currencies. That Mustafa bring this. So... I, start, I faced a lot of challenges to the extent that I left our state for three years. From that, uh, that time to uh, sometimes. Then Your I now, state will be Nasara was yes, my Yes, inside life, yeah. Mm. So I started call, receiving calls, meeting me. Sometimes I would come out from the mosque to home. Then people would just meet me on the road. Most of all, please, I got uh, uh, football in Turkey. Please, borrow me one million. I see if I say I don't have, they will say... Ah, do you mean the wife of the president will just give you back without anything? I swear, I sometimes I cry. And as a result of this, my eyes probably, I cannot cry because, you know, it covers. So if mm. I cry... But I hope saying that you out. carry that bag yourself, you know, give them to somebody uh, I, make it I was hold. the one that opened. In fact, everything that was inside, if I remove anything, so that I will not make mistake, I will touch it very well before I give to the next person. Oh, so that so the person you will carry not... them by yourself. Now <laughs> me open them. I did everything myself so that if I give it to anybody and that person sees something, he might change his attitude and steal something. Mm. For example, that's human dynamism. So... I said, from there, I started facing a lot of challenges. Then I now wrote Jam and Waek and Neko in my SS2 in that school because of the harassment that I was facing from those students of the rich people. Then sometimes if I call prayer, then children will just be praying that by God's grace, this guy will not see again. Then so other people will just be saying amen. And this happened as a result of calling prayer by 8, 8, 8 p.m. And we finish our prayer, Maghrib prayer by 7. They go for football and they don't finish that football, and I stay inside mosque. They don't finish football, then I will call prayer, then they will become ang angry. So I explained this so that people will, 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 not, will not be asking that, why would they just be making those bad prayers for me? So from there, in my SS2, I wrote those exams that I got them, then I applied for school in uh, ABU Zaria, then I got admission to study sociology. So when I went to collect the admission in 2018, this man that ran away with our six million now called me. Then he now said, Mustafa, in that bag that the wife of the president gave you, I have business that I will do that it will assist you. Then I now said, there's nothing inside the bag. And that chairman, he started mentioning uh, when he saw me on TV and people were giving me something. Then I told him that there's nothing. He kept disturbing me because we lived in the same area in Bauchi. Which chairman? A chairman, local government, life here, local government. Uh, uh, local government chairman joined it, it again. Was, they disturb you for waiting the things that people give you. Uh -huh. So because he said, that one he mentioned current, he mentioned amount now. He said one million mm. he was going to give me. And they thought he gave me that one million. I, and it was 30,000 naira he gave me. So from there, we now, I now got admission. I, I left to, for, I left life here for, for Kaduna, ABU's area. Then I started. So when this man started disturbing me, then he'll carry food, rice, maize, everything that the student needs, he'll take it to, he now took it to me to school. He started blandishing me that, please bring, we will do this business, you will become rich, this and that. And because I have never seen someone that memorized Quran like him, I did business with my elder brother, his mother and my father are from the same father, the same mother. Mm. So I gave him money to do business for me, he cheated me for five years. I have never gotten even one couple back. How much you give him? Uh, 50,000 era for, to buy rams. Mm. So he, bu he bought the rams so that when Salah comes, we mm. will sell it. Mm. So he even put the, the sound of the rams for me on phone. So that I will be sending money for food. I sent a lot of money. Then I now told that person that me, I don't trust anybody again. Because if I give money to people, people whenever you, as a blind person, you engage yourself in a, in a money issue with someone, then they must cheat you. Because, sorry, one example, I was going to Kaduna from Nasarawa State Life here when I was going to Ebu area. Then somebody now came. 
he's my age mate uh, my father's age mate from his voice mm. and i'll say ah look at this small boy oh oh my god and you cannot see ah look he started like he was very pathetic to me and i knew that my father gave me one one thousand as my pocket money mm. and i removed money because i was entering car from kaduna park to zaria mm. because i was hungry it was six hours journey from life here to kaduna then and i'll say please sir i need uh, food help me buy food when i gave him that 1000 naira, he told me that it was one uh, hundred naira, and he collected it so that was one that was one one of the example that that is what makes blind people don't trust people and people are ang always angry with them because they don't trust them so from there and i told him that me i don't trust people then he told me everything possible that will make me trust him mm. then i trusted him because he was older than me he was born 1962 and mm. i was 199 so then I, you saw that you know, I now say let me try. Then I now gave him fifty three thousand naira because I had seventy five thousand naira then. I now told him that this is for my registration. Then he now told me that he bought cow. So from there, so that because I promised to memorize every and to summarize everything, we did a lot of businesses. Anything, any money, even if I would get ten thousand naira, I will carry seven thousand naira and give him, so that I will do this business. Mm -hmm. Then from there I got first class. And that business was business of what? Business of many things like cows, mm -hmm. preservation of uh, tamarind, mm -hmm. so that when it becomes uh, uh, expensive, mm -hmm. uh -huh, he, he will sell. Because he told me that, that he has customers from Dubai and international customers. That when we buy it seven seven thousand naira here in Nigeria, mm -hmm. then they buy it twenty five thousand naira. And when they came to buy my own, he told me that they bought it thirty eight thousand naira by by each bag mm -hmm. that I bought one thousand. 158 bags yes so i have been gathering that money from that time up to the time that i gathered more than three million because i told him that i want to have foundation that will sponsor blind people because in nigeria there are 13 million children that are out of school mm. we have 32 million disabled people and we have 5.5 million blind to, uh, to, uh, people in Nigeria. Then I told him that I want these children because of me. Mm. They should go to school for free. Then I now told him that I want to have foundation and I have established the foundation. Then I now told him that I started sponsoring them right from now. Because if I say until I become rich, I don't know if I will become rich. Mm. Let me start from small school. Then I now, we now started uh, one movement of going to different villages bringing out those people that they don't know that blind people to go to school mm. then we now i now carried six blind children and i took them to school with the scholarship that i got sponsorship after i got first class in abu zaria in my hundred level from mtn company they give me two hundred thousand naira every year and then chevron also nmpc you got first class in your hundred level yes i started from 4.57 mm. Uh, yeah, the GP. Now, waiting I won't correct. Yes, sir. Uh, you no go get first class in yes. your hundred level until you finish. But uh, your mm. GP uh, fit be waiting the point to first class. Yes, oh, uh -huh. yeah, exactly. So, mm. so as a result of that, they now gave me scholarship, a scholarship in ABU, um, in MTN scholarship. Then I now got another one for Chevron, one hundred and fifty thousand. Now you see three hundred and fifty bar. Mm. Then in Nasrallah State again. I got 50,000 Naira from our state government, mm. making 400,000 Naira. Scholarship. Yes. So out yearly of or just one of? No, yearly. Okay. Yes, out of this, then I now carry young, my younger brothers and sisters because they are out of school too. Mm. Then I now carry six of them and put them in private school. So that when every year I get this money, I remove their money and pay their own. And these children, blind children that I took to school, then my own too. Then the remaining, the remaining money, then I will give it to this person. So I kept doing that. So then 2020, I met one woman from Germany. When she saw my results, she cried and saw what happened to me. Then she said she wants to sponsor me to Germany mm. so that they could operate my eyes. Then I told her, that, okay, because you cannot just go to hospital in any of the countries until you send your medical report and see that. When they see that they can do it, then they will tell you to come. So then she said I should bring it. Then I now went to the hospitals. All of the hospitals that I went, they now, they now said I should go to the hospital that I was lastly operated. Mm. Then I now went to eye center. Fortunately, I met that woman that 2006 I was sent to her and she was not around. Mm. Then you will begin fast forward them now because yes. time don't go. Make so that, that go th on the important parts of the matter where bring you come. Okay, so th uh, th this one is the first one. Which the, one is the, the first the, one? This, this woman. So she said she cannot give me medical report because I will take it to the white people 
and she it will castigate the name of the nigerian the name of, the name of nigeria and it will castigate the name of the hospital as the best best eye hospital in which nigeria. hospital be the eye center kaduna mm. so and they, she now one doctor now called me aside that they are afraid of giving me fine so now i should go when i graduate i should come they will give me job i say i prefer my eyes than job so they should just give me medical report i have the right to collect a medical report as every other citizen has then they refused to give me i suffered a lot i jumped everything now to the last point so the first problem is that they refused to give me my medical report for germany and then uh, which hospital i center kaduna i center kaduna. kaduna yes which time be the last time where you go to them last to 2021 2021 yes sir okay the treatment where they treat you that yes. uh, when did they treat you which time they treated you 2000 okay they treated my eyes mm. okay 2006 2006 yes sir you get anything mm. where you get where be documents where show say they treated your eyes whether card or receipts or payment or anything oh for it's that be, hospital it's been long but i don't have but when i went 2020 i collected before i saw that doctor and even that one i don't know where it is but even that one it is in the rehabilitation office where they sent me to school that was why they removed my card and gave me that time so they have my document there in the rehabilitation office okay so yes. you don't have anything i don't now. have anything now okay but for yes. waiting i know also yes, Mm -hmm. Even if no be them, you yes. fit walk into a hospital and say, I want evaluation of my problem or my challenge Sorry, by a, a medical expert. I understand. They will you, do sir. the evaluation yes. and that will be report you can send. Mm -hmm. It must not be from who treated you last. Yes. So I did all of this and I went to more than 20 hospitals. They said I must go back to that hospital okay so there's nothing that i did not do we go so, find out from medical experts uh -huh. so thank you mm -hmm. so if i can get it without going there i would be very happy we go find out yeah, that is so one. that's one yes what is then the, the last one? one the last one is this imam i have been gathering money with him then i invited my friends that were cheated in different businesses as blind people as i told you mm. that they want to do business they need someone because we are friends i know their problem they know my problem so mm. it's a long story but let me just say they gave me money to give him so that you will do business. So as you come be say you yes, trust sir. this imam yes. now they give her money. Yes, now many anywhere where you see your fellow blind person where talk say ha I no trust any person no mm. because everywhere where I try to do business with people yes, where sir. they see they yes, cheat sir. me. Yes, so sir. you can't tell them say ah you sabi one person mm. where you don't they do business with for a long time yeah, yes, for and that years. person no go cheat you make them all come yes. make on follow that person where we say mm. you don't try them you trust them. Yes, sir. So exactly. waiting can happen. So they gave me the money and I transferred the money from my phone some 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 of the amount i transferred the money from my phone some of them because i have been sending him money sometimes he, he follow he follows me to school sometimes i give him the money hand to hand sometimes through pos but i thank god i know the pos man that i sent five hundred thousand naira to him mm. on, in november mm. so the one I, I now went to bank when i when the time for collecting the money mm. now came that was in december i now asked him to sell that tamarind that he bought one thousand bucks for for us because children are stranded my brothers and sisters and these blind people are and me too i'm going back to school and i had that the school fees is going to be one million naira or seven hundred thousand naira next year because mm. of this try but you should give me one million for all of these things let me start to that was when i started understanding that the money was not around he stopped picking my call he stopped everything to the extent that i reported everything to police because the total amount of the money was six million then i now went to bank and collected my statement of account mm -hmm. took it to police then they now said i should bring money for fuel for tracking for everything and i told them that all of the money that we have this man carried it and left and we calculated he told me that the 500 bucks of the tamarind were spoiled and he threw them inside water it was remaining only 500 bucks and i'll tell i now ask him to sell and give me his name now said this he sold them 30 30 thousand naira we now calculated almost 40 million naira my own plus their own money including the profit but why i'm saying the six million naira is because it's the one i gave him and the one i have evidence even that one i have the recorded voice of our conversation with him so mm. because i don't have any uh, uh evidence apart from that so these people started saying that i should bring this one we now went and struggled i carried these people we went to his village even that day that i came here on friday 
I don't know whether they heard my voice or what. When I went out of the studio, then I now saw his wife, Miss Call. Then I called her. I told him, I told her that this your husband refused to pick my call and his number is not going. What him be this man name? Muhammad, Muhammad. Muhammad, Muhammad. The chief imam of that mosque of, the, of that village. Where be the village? Falchi, Riminzeng, to a local government, Bauchi State. Bauchi State. Yes, sir. And you talk, say you carry this matter, go to police. Yes, I went to police in that village. They said they cannot, it's above them. Then I now went to this place, State CID. They said I should go to State CID. Mm. So it was in State CID that they said, if I don't have money for all of this sponsorship, so I should go until he comes back, they will operate my manually and arrest him mm -hmm. and i told them that i'm suspecting that in this cashless policy this man has money in his account because even day before yesterday he told me that he doesn't know how he can remove money he doesn't know how he can remove money why why so i told them that they should quickly please arrest him arrest his uh properties because he has started selling his uh, farms and, and you talk say you don't carry the matter even go to command and vouch yes sir okay yes. as he be mm. say you go the local police station and vouch yes, they sir. not do anything you go command command yes, no do anything yes sir it means say he get right to carry your complaint go straight to force headquarters because command they under force headquarters and any matter will be like say for command will be state. He mm. worry them or they know fit do them or they know do them well. Yes, sir. And force headquarters, not the waste time. Yes, made them Which intervene. one is force, sir? Force headquarters will be the police force headquarters, will be the national headquarters of Nigeria. That was police where force. I started going in my state, Nasrallah State. They were the first one that started demanding money for me before I left for Bauchi. Mustafa, no yes, be sir. there. Okay, which one is? Now, oh. first headquarters, mm. now only one a day for Nigeria. Which one? Mm. Uh, which one is civil defense? Uh, Mustafa, civil defense, yes, no, uh, uh, Nigeria security and uh, 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 civil. And I don't know how they fool, but civil defense, not be police. You yes, go sir. civil defense too? Yes, sir. That was the first uh, place I started going. Uh -huh. Before he even run, because I started to understand that he was running. Okay, I told make, him I, make I explain yes, to you. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Nigeria, now be our country. Yes, sir. And now federal system where they operate. Yes, sir. Police for Nigeria now one. Hmm? Mm. The headquarters of the whole police where you see everywhere for Nigeria now mm. one. You know day two. Where? Every other one na branch. That's headquarter. Na for Abuja here a day. Okay. Uh -huh. yes, na there where the inspector general of police day. Mm. If you go to state, you go yes. get state command. That state command might be the headquarter for police for the state. Mm. Uh -huh. Then you go from that state command, you go get other formations. We go be like DP, uh, we go be like uh, police stations and others. Yes, Area sir. command also there. Mm -hmm. But the general place where we say nine, they control, they command the whole police force for Nigeria. Yes, now sir. one, and that, that one will be the headquarters where they for Abuja. Okay. You never go there. From yes, waiting no, you they talk, yes. no be there you go. No, I didn't go uh -huh. to But there, you mm -hmm. no go go there until you don't start from the way where you don't start now it can't be say mm. you feel say you no get justice yes, because sir. nigerian police now nah, people will be say they know they throw away your complaint mm. because say maybe they feel no be true you they talk mm. if you get problem you try from the local police station where you did mm. you no get justice opportunity they say make you carry go to command yes sir. will be the state if you go there it can't be like say you no get justice opportunity they also make you carry go like your area command. Mm. If you go there, you no get justice. Opportunity day make you carry go force headquarters where the inspector general of police, police. himself yes, will be the ogak bata bata yes, go con touch light the matter. Okay. And now waiting I they suggest I take time explain them to you yes, so that you go fit understand waiting we won't do. Okay. It makes sense to you. Y yes, sir. Okay. You get confidence. Say make we try them. The force, yes, yeah, yes, very well, sir. You get confidence. Yes, my own problem is to uh, to arrest the person and find out the problem mm, to investigate so the matter. Yes, because this one yes. where you talk now, yes. like your own side of the matter. Yes, that's why I uh -huh. call arrest. 
we we no get uh we no get uh, we no follow you when the matter happen make we yes. know whether na truth or yes. complete truth you they tell us yes sir. but na police get authority get expertise get mm. uh everything where it take made them mm. touch light matter where they like this yes sir mm -hmm. so the only reason why we they return there be say you talk say even as you complain till yes. now, mm -hmm. they never even arrest them. They never talk anything. And they would have even told me to come here. So mm -hmm. they didn't call me, tell me to, to go to force. They didn't tell me. They said they will arrest him manually when he comes back. Manually. But yes. that's the Sabi in house, Sabi where they live. What thing they need tracking for? Sorry? As if you say the Sabi in house and yes. the Sabi where in they live. Mm -hmm. or, or you know Sabi in house? No, I know he's, he ran away from the house. He left. Mm, but you get yeah. wife and children there. Yes. And the infirm even there there. Everything is there. Mm -hmm. So I told them to, to seize everything because he sold one farm when he left. Mm. Then they now said they cannot just go and seize someone. Oh yeah, hold on there. Okay. Hold on. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh -huh. I beg. I no know whether you do okay to mention your name, but na person where they for uh office of the first PR or where they work with us on matters where they like this. You did live on radio and television with me, sir. Okay, good morning, sir. Mm. My name is SP Mansa. Okay. And now you be yes. AO. The admin officer for the first public relations department. Uh, make an appreciate them. <laughs> I don't know whether you did follow us for program this uh, morning. No, I'm, I'm, follow, I'm following his uh, story. Yes. Uh, what yeah, thing you uh, think? It's a positive one, but where it affects the police, I would try to come to the headquarters so that we can also follow it through no. and see how we can help him find justice. Oh, no, the last one where you talk, it'd be like, say, you're smart, uh, you're there fast with them. I know to hear okay. you. Okay, what I mean, we say, uh, we hear the story as he take up the areas where he talks, say, he don't go report to the police and nothing don't do, they don't do it, they never do anything about them. Make him come. Uh -huh. follow him through, make we see as we go help him make him get justice. Okay. And then I've been the struggle to explain to Ram because uh, he been talks he don't go first headquarters for Bauchi. And now we be say you na person where they for Nigerian police uh, force and na senior officer where you be. You go fit take a little just one minute to explain to Ram. If he be say I know explain I'm correct and the other people where they follow this problem uh, program waiting be the formation of the Nigerian police and waiting be uh, first headquarters position. The Nigerian police will they, you we have it in uh, we have our offices at, at different uh, layers. Mm. If you go for each command, we have what we call the state command. That's where you have the commissioner of police. Mm. And the commissioner of police is in charge of anything that has to do with security, police and policing activities within mm. the state command. Mm. I will use a uh, natural way where he may talk of, talk of for example. Mm. Uh, you natural, you have the commissioner of police in charge of natural state. Mm. Then you can't get, we, can, we now have what we call the police uh, divisions. Mm. We have the police divisions. These are the places, those more, the police stations where they find very close, very close, very close to your house. Mm. Those places say they find very close to your house, where would they be? They are the police divisions. We have the police uh, police uh, stations. Mm. Those ones, if you come to police station, you go see say, now just few number of persons. Mm. Maybe about three, four persons. I think they did. They are very small, so they can they have lately, they can attend to small, small cases. Mm. And when issues come, they will attend to complaints. Then they will refer you to the police division, which has a, a bigger, it has a, a, a larger coverage and more senior larger, officers. Mm. And most in ourselves, that's where you have a DPO, and oftentimes the DPO will be maybe superintendent of police, chief superintendent, chief superintendent of police, hmm. and then they handle such uh, divisions. Then we have what we call the area command. Hmm. The area command is get combination of divisions where in the control. Hmm. The area command that uh, you have, like uh, in like I know there, there, there are different area commands within, uh, you have an Akwanga, for instance, an area commander in charge of Akwanga. Hmm. Uh, you have divisions, you have a cluster of about three to four divisions. The Akwanga will be controlling a division like in uh, Wamba, Nasara Ivan, Akwanga itself. So you have all of them are answerable, all the DPOs are answerable to the area commander mm -hmm. in, uh, in those areas. Mm -hmm. And the area commander is seated by an assistant commissioner of police. Mm -hmm. Now, him, the one who managed such a uh, police, uh, such a uh, such area command. Mm -hmm. So if, it, if we go forward again, after the state command we have what we call the zonal commands mm. and the zonal commands have uh, those who are in charge of it are assistant inspector general of police mm. 
Uh, I'm serious in Nasrallah State where he comes from, so that he will still understand it better. Mm. In Nasrallah, the Zona Command in Nasrallah is in Zone 7 Makodi. Mm. And it controls um, Bainway, Nasrawa, and Plat and Plateau State. Mm. They are all under it. So the, com the commissioners of police in charge of Bainway, Nasrawa, and Plateau, they report to the, to the assistance of general police in charge of that particular zone when they have issues. Then we have, above all, we now have the Inspector General of Police, Rodolf Abuja, who, who is the in charge of the Nigerian Police Force as well. Mm -hmm. every, every, every commander reports directly to him. Mm. And all, all, all the AIG also report to him directly. Mm. Uh, so you, in this situation now, mm. he has an issue in Nasa, and uh, he said in Go, I think Gombe State, Gombe State right? Bauchis. Bauchi. Bauchi. Mm. Yes. The idea for to do is would have also said, so spoken with the DPRO Bauchi to know how far they have gone over the issue. Mm. But not notwithstanding, but since he has uh, some uh, misgiving, uh, a lot of dissatisfaction with the services rented at that particular level, mm. he will come to the first headquarters, the first public relations department. Mm -hmm. from, here, we will now, from here, we will now listen to his campaign properly mm. and see how we can now we relate with the state command and ensure that he gets the desired justice that he needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one where you explain make a lot of sense. Make an appreciate them. And uh, because of in condition also, we know what make with the send them up and down where it go go, it no go make meaningful progress on every single move where he make. And nine makers no even talk, say make he begin go zonal uh, command. Uh, we say make he come straight to force headquarters so that every move where he make, he go fit bring result. We go make him happy and also show say Nigerian police know they take anything where consign justice for their citizens they play. Thank you for we this are, one. We, we, we are sure that we will do everything within our, mm. our mandate to mm. make sure that you get justice. Mm. What the time? Only appeal, the, only, the only appeal I want to make now says you go do patient with the process. Mm. And you go because it's a, it's a procedural thing. Some people go follow step by step. So mm. you go do patient. No, the, the man is, I, wait, wait. The man is a very patient man. No talk, no take no, because I, I start the program to talk saying you no know, day patient before. He don't explain what thing happened. I, 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 He's I, I, a I, very I, patient I, I, man. I, 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 you know, sir, I, I had this narration from the beginning to mm. where you called. Mm. So, and that I'm just saying it so that you also understand that it's going to be it's, it's, it's something, it's a process. Mm. It's a process within uh, in the uh, assignment. Mm. But we assure him that we'll do everything within our own uh, uh, mandate. Mm. Thank to, you. Thank you for that process. one. So, which time, how many o'clock you want to make it come? As I'm talking to you now, may I get close to the office? Okay, but you never reach. Uh, I get close to the office. Where we have an assignment mm. uh, this this morning. Mm. The only thing you can come to the office and if you if you if you not know, mind, make you wait for me. Okay. Because I they go uh, make you wait for me. Once I come, I will now make him up to the appropriate unit in our department who will now follow up with the case. Make him come. I'm close to the office. Let him come. Make him come now. Yeah, make him come. Make him appreciate him again. Thank you, uh, Manza. May God continue to promote and protect you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that one uh, we don't take them. And Nadia, uh, my brother, talk to the microphone now. Okay, sir. You hear what they tell you now? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So, wait. Okay, can I talk? Okay, um, I just, uh, I am convinced with what he said. I just want to appreciate the Berkete family first, then mm. the police as he reacted, mm. that I'm very grateful. Mm. Thank you very much. And I pray uh, to get everything right. Mm. And these people's money should come out and in my own too. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, what I will say. Thank you, so, sir. So uh, the person where they're behind there, he yes. goes direct you how you go take fine force headquarters. Where oh, they okay. for Abuja, not be the one where they for Bauchi. Okay, sir. <laughs> okay, We're going to appreciate them. Mm -hmm. uh, give Mama that microphone. You feel go to your seat. Mama, the guy waiting you've been talk off mic. Waiting you get something where you've been talk. Mm. In, waiting be that thing. Manza. Okay. I say Manza is a very straightforward man. Uh, yeah. He's a very good man. Wow. We're going to appreciate them. You see, now this now the kind things all of us go they desire. Say anywhere where they mention your name, 
make so at least one or two persons talk say this person a good person a straightforward person nothing better pass that in life nothing big pass them mama been talking off microphone because for brokers they know they talk off mic i say make it talk him. and now he talk and it makes sense make one appreciate mama <laughs> the next case please 